So I just finished our last class for jewelry. I made four different pieces, I think. But man, it's cool, it's exciting, it was fun. And uh, ended a little quickly, you know? Like, feels like time goes by so quick when you're focused on your ideas and molding it into jewelry and then it's like the next thing you know the class is over with <laughs> so pretty cool and now 
I am going to probably come back for a little bit of free time to finalize and polish the pieces. And then the next thing is the show. So before Veterans Day, they're going to uh, showcase all of our creations, our jewelry pieces that we made. So I made a I made a necklace hanging piece. I made a ring and then two bracelets. And so it was actually pretty cool and I appreciate it a lot because as I'm working on it, I can't help but think, especially now that I'm a father and I struggle as a veteran, uh, to think about what goes into it, the cost of the material. You know, it's not free to use the solder and the gas to heat it up, um, the electricity to polish, and the materials. It. What I'm saying is, is I appreciate that it's taken care of and it's offered to us because a lot of things in my life right now constitute on me making life decisions like can I afford this or can I not am I gonna pay for this or am I gonna eat or am I not if, if I get this I can't pay my bills so a lot of my decision making throughout the day every day is you know always dealing with that so being able to come to these therapy therapeutic uh, class with other veterans and be able to just take advantage of what is offered and not have to think about it not have to think about oh am I using too much electricity or um, what's the cost of the materials and all this so um, you know I it, I don't at all expect things to be free or have that entitlement mentality but it, I am expressing how these opportunities without the cost being tagged onto it in this moment of my life is a very therapeutic and a very relieving thing to do for me in this time you know in the future when I can afford it or I'm better in a financial situation of course I would love to uh, maybe buy some of these things for myself in my garage or my you know office and be able to be creative whenever I feel like it but right now I don't have that opportunity so getting away and not thinking about st financial struggles or not think about pain or anything else other than oh yeah I have a cool idea that's pretty cool and so I'm I really appreciate it and I advise other veterans no matter what's going on in your life and what your capabilities are I would advise that you take a moment and search some of these resources and take advantage of it because if you can't get a moment to clear your mind and to escape and uh, not focus on worries and problems um, is a great thing uh, so and enjoy it while you can. That's what I'm trying to do is enjoy every moment because it's not going to be forever. You know, the class doesn't last forever. Uh, who knows if these classes are always going to be offered. I don't know. So really, I'm just soaking it in and really appreciating the whole entire moment. And it's cool because even when they showcase our work, they're giving us an opportunity to sell it now. I don't really want to sell it because obviously it's very personal and it's a awesome experience and to hold on to that sentimental value and meaning kind of means a lot you know because if I survive into my 60s that's another 35 years to 
hold on to a piece like that and share with my children like oh you remember when you were little and I would leave the class and these were the pieces that I created it's so cool because obviously it's not gold it's not diamonds so it's not like you do it with the expectation to become rich but it's rich and in sentimental value and that's what matters the most and then not to mention that you build relationships and network with veterans that also are participating in those groups so you know I'm here to say man it's a great thing does it cure me of my problems no but does it give me moments of being proud and things that when you're isolated and you're in the middle of struggle and pain you, you see no way out you see no relief you become crazy and all you want to do is just do something but you don't have the money to do anything so that's all i just really uh would love to see more veterans participate whether you're creative or not like i've never worked with uh copper and brass in the ways that i have in this class and it's very eye-opening and it's very uh therapeutic and i'm almost considering learning more and possibly doing it as a hobby or an alternative source of uh, income so pretty cool and uh, I'm heading home now so that was the last class and it's a little uh, sad but I'm looking forward to what's to come in the future and go to the showing and um, that's the other thing is when you create the pieces you got to come up with a name and kind of have meaning behind it so I like that because it's a conversation starter with other people that are looking at your jewelry and understanding your meaning behind what you created I think that is so cool because again when you're a veteran and you have these Things, whether it's past memories or experience or values or whatever it is to put that into a piece of work or art and then others see it they might not immediately see the message or see what it is that you created until they read the title and read the meaning and then it clicks in their mind and like oh wow that's that's a great representation or that's so strong and to me that's meaningful because then it sparks a conversation and I'm very talkative and I love to talk with people so not being able to talk to people a lot of times because everyone is busy in their own life and everyone's dealing with struggles in their own life and trauma and you can't it's really difficult to find people friends family whatever that will sit down with you for hours and and just talk so having the ability to express some of these things that you've gone through or that mean something to you through art sparks that interest intrigues and a conversation follows that to me is like very valuable and very cool so um yeah i don't know if all vas offer this i know a lot more vas and va as a whole is doing a lot of work like this and i like I said before, that's one of the greatest things is, you know, everyone has their own experience as far as medical and the actual facility, but the programs and the therapies that they are using and exploring outside of the VA 
are very awesome and uh, uh, been a great experience for me and um, I greatly appreciate it like I said if I live until I'm 60 and I'm rich and or in a good financial place that would be meaningful for me to donate and whether it volunteer my time or donate money or whatever to uh, um, to continue the generational uh, experience to uh, make sure that young vets also have this opportunity 